Today, I want to talk to you about something that I probably haven't spoke about enough recently. I often, a fault of mine, I will admit it, is I'll often speak about building an online fitness business from the point of marketing and selling and helping you get more clients because I know that that's often what trainers and coaches aren't necessarily great at, right? It's not their passion um, generating leads, it's not their passion uh, selling their services, their passion, your passion is probably the helping people part, right? Um, so a lot of the time, I probably neglect talking to you about your service delivery a little bit. Um, and I shouldn't because the reality is delivering your service online isn't something all of you are familiar with. It's not something that all of you will understand how to do well in order to make your life easier and in order to get your clients great results as well, right? We want to make our, our clients feel great. We want them to enjoy working with us. We want our life to be as simple in working with clients by using processes. And there are a few key parts that we need to make sure are are under control when we're working with clients online, just in order for, for everything to run smoothly, for them to get amazing results and for our service to be good enough, right? Good enough to genuinely help people and, and to be selling, right? We wanna sell a service that we're proud of. So I'm gonna break this down for you into four key steps. Step number one is the onboarding process. We wanna make sure that once somebody signs up as a client, the onboarding process is as smooth as possible. They get everything that they need. So that could be their initial program, their initial uh, nutrition program or targets or habits, whatever it is that you provide them with. We wanna make sure that any frequently asked questions are covered. We wanna make sure that expectations uh, are set out clearly so they understand what's about to happen and so that you have a client that understands how to get the most from working with you. We wanna make sure that all that happens quickly. We wanna make sure that they're not sat around wondering what's going on and what they've bought. So the onboarding process is the first piece of the puzzle and it's, it's often the most important because it sets the tone for the rest of the time that you're working with that client. If you get have a great onboarding experience, often your retention will be better. If you have a great onboarding process, often you'll get more referrals. Often you'll get referrals before you've even started working properly with this person just because you've impressed them so much during that onboarding process. So that's step one, having a great onboarding process. Step two is figuring out how you manage and communicate with your clients, whether it's WhatsApp, whether it's email, whether you have a Facebook group for, for clients, maybe you only communicate with clients via an app that you may be using to, to deliver your services to clients. There's no right answer. The right answer is the one that works best for you and your client. And you're only gonna figure that out by having a play around with a few different options. A lot of our students just simply communicate to their, with their clients via email. Some of them do the occasional call with their clients. Some of them it's all through an app, such as PT Distinction, Trainerize, True Coach, Train Heroic. Some of them are happy to just text back and forth with their clients. But you need to set the expectations from the beginning of how you want to communicate what's gonna be best for them, what's gonna be best for you. Set the expectations at the beginning during that onboarding process again about response times and then manage your clients in alignment with those expectations. If you start growing your client base, which hopefully you do, then it may be time to start thinking about something like a, a Facebook group or a group on Slack or a WhatsApp group or somewhere where you can manage your community of, of clients in one place. The onboarding process is the first part of the puzzle. The second part is figuring out how you're going to manage your clients online and communicate with them. The third bit is tracking progress. So we've We've onboarded our clients, they've got their initial program for us, we're talking to them regularly, see, see how they're getting on in our preferred method of managing and communicating with them. And now we need a way to track their progress and get data from them. And you're gonna do this in the form of a check-in. Now these can be formal, where you have a weekly check-in or a, a check-in every two weeks or maybe once a month, where they provide you with all the data that you need to assess their progress, and then you can make changes to their programs based on that data, or it can be informal in the form of them updating their making tweaks and provide them providing them with constant feedback or intermittent feedback on how things are going asking them questions and tweaking their programs as required right but that all comes from tracking their progress i'm not saying you have to track everything you all have to track the same thing some of you might have clients tracking body weight some of you might have clients tracking how they're feeling it could be tracking the way they look in the mirror it could be tracking their calorie and macronutrient intake, like whatever it may be, whatever it is you're helping people towards, make sure that you've got a way to track progress so that you can help them to get towards that goal, 
right? So we need a way to track progress. And the, and the fourth thing that I've already kind of mentioned is adjusting the program, uh, adjusting the plan to help them get results. So we've got onboarding your clients, giving them everything that they need, a way of managing and communicating with them, a way to track progress and making sure that you're adjusting their program when needed so that they continue to get amazing results. If you'd like more information, by the way, on how to work with clients online, if you're interested in finding out how you can grow an online fitness business, an online personal training business, an online nutrition business, then head on over to moreonlineclients.com and find out more about how we can help you. We've helped nearly 500 or maybe a little bit over 500 trainers and coaches work with clients online, build amazing online fitness businesses and get people amazing results, making sure that they've got those four areas covered and then a few other areas as well that we cover uh, with all of our students. So if you'd like more help, head on over to moreonlineclients.com. I think that's what the site is, moreonlineclients.com, a one-page website that I knocked up with a bit of information in a form, fill in that form uh, and we can have a chat about how we can help you build an amazing online fitness business that actually gets people results. So yeah, how to get people amazing results as an online trainer, cover those four areas. Take it easy.